With all the drama related to Twitch lately, it's no wonder why a lot of streamers are considering switching to YouTube for streaming now. So let me show you guys how to start streaming to YouTube the easy way. And then you can decide whether streaming to YouTube is right for you. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a quick like on the video and let's get started. So first thing we need to do is go to YouTube. You need to make a YouTube account if you haven't one already. We're on the desktop site here, which is different than the mobile site. And what we'll do, we'll go to the top right corner, we'll click on the create button, and then we'll click on the go live tab. If this is your first time clicking the go live tab, you might get hit with a picture like this where you have to opt in and you'll have to wait 24 hours in order to stream. Bruh. They'll also ask you to verify your phone number just to prevent a bunch of bots from spamming. But once you get to the go live streaming YouTube, this is what your creator dashboard looks like. You can see we have a bunch of information on the screen, but the one thing we're gonna look at right now is the stream key right here. Do not show this to absolutely anybody, otherwise they'll be able to stream to your YouTube account without even needing to be logged in. So we are gonna click on the copy button and then we're gonna go to OBS Studio. I pulled up OBS Studio and the first thing we wanna do is go to the bottom right hand corner, click on on settings and then we'll click on the stream category and then we're going to click on service to YouTube and then we'll use the use stream key advanced option and then we're going to highlight this backspace delete that and then we're going to control V to paste our new stream key and then we'll go to the bottom right we'll hit apply and then we'll hit OK. If you guys like my little ghost overlay and the little live scene and the transition for the bats this was actually a one click setup everything was automatically imported for me I didn't have to do anything and it's all thanks to the homies at own pro they have a bunch of different overlays to choose from you can try this out 100% free and if you want to stick to the handful of packages here you could just click on one of these packages they have provided under the free category all you have to do is click install and it'll automatically import all of the scenes and sources directly and you can click the showcase to see what you're gonna get in that package the only time it's not gonna be free is if you want access to the 500 plus overlays they have here like the spooky one so if you guys want to check out today's sponsor own pro I'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can get started and if you guys want to learn how to set these free overlays up I'll teach you at the very end of the video so make Make sure to watch all the way to the end but now that we've linked our stream key from youtube to obs studio let's go back to youtube so before we go live right away let me explain what's happening on the screen so on the right hand side of the screen we have our chat room where you can see people's messages popping up on the side you can also go and type in the bottom right as well in the very top left this is our stream preview window and you'll be able to see this once we go live but i'm going to go over everything on the screen first you can see that we have our title ignore this testing for video because i've already annoyed my current subscribers by testing for this video and they popped up in my chat room asking what the heck are you doing? So apologies to them. This is my secondary YouTube account, C Pause Horror Music and Gaming, which is also in the description if you want to check it out. If you guys are familiar with the Mortuary Assistant, I made the soundtrack for that. You can check that out there. But enough of me, you'll be able to see more analytics here, like your likes and your viewers waiting. But more importantly, we're going to click the edit button because this is where we're going to set the title and everything else with the metadata for our live stream. So you can put your title in here and then you can put a description so what people are going to see when they go to see the video. If we scroll down, you can see we got a couple other things. You can choose your category, which in this case is gaming. You can put in the video game title that you're playing if they have it. And the most important part is making a thumbnail because this is what people are going to click on when they go to watch your live stream. So make sure to make a thumbnail. You can add it to a playlist if you want to make a playlist of your live streams to make it easier for people to binge. And they have a bunch of other things as well, like adding tags and a bunch of other settings that you can tweak if you'd like, but they're honestly not that important. And then on the left hand side, we'll click customization. And this is where you do a bunch of stuff. So we obviously want to see the live chat. So we'll have that checked. Participants. So you can have anybody chat in the chat room or you can make it subscribers only. If you want to have a message delay, making it so participants have to wait a certain amount of time before they can send another message, you can enable slow mode in case people are spamming the chat. The very bottom, this is the redirect. This is basically YouTube's version of rating and hosting. If you want to add a redirect, you can go and click the add button and then you'll be able to find a live stream or a premiere that you can redirect to. I have neither of those, so I have nothing to show up here. But if you guys are premiering a video after your live stream, you'll be able to select it from here and filter your live stream people into the premiere of your video, which is kind of cool. But that's pretty much it for the edit settings. If you look on the bottom here, we have our stream settings where we have our stream key, which we did all of that. You can also enable closed captions, but for the reason I'm not going to is because of the stream latency mode. I prefer to stream on ultra low latency. That just means there's not going to be much delay between me reading the viewers messages and them seeing me read their messages, which makes real time interaction way easier. And if you want ultra low latency, you can't use closed captions at the same time time. But if you want to do low latency, it'll make it so there's a little bit more delay and normal latency, it'll make it so there's a lot of delay. And if you get confused, you can hover over this little button and it'll explain it more to you there. Preferably, I like to leave unlist live replay once stream ends on because chances are if you're doing a live stream, you're going to have some awkward dead time at the very beginning of the stream and having it unlisted will allow you to give you some time to go into the video and edit it in YouTube's editor to go ahead and trim the video so you don't have that awkward beginning part. You can just cut straight to the action, but it's entirely up 
out to you. The next tab is the analytics tab, and it'll just show you your concurrent viewers, the chat rate, the views, the average view duration, and all that kind of fun stuff. Then you can click on stream health, and it'll give you time codes on what's happening with your stream, if you're dropping frames, if you need to switch your settings. It'll warn you here under the stream health tab, so you can keep an eye on that if you start dropping frames or experiencing lag. And then on the left-hand side, you can see this little webcam button, which is a different alternative way to stream. You don't wanna use OBS Studio that just allows your webcam and microphone, but honestly, I would not recommend this, which is why I'm not gonna go over it. Then you have your manage tab where you can go and set upcoming streams. So if you wanna to stream tomorrow and you wanna let people know about it, you can schedule a stream here with this little button. So now that we know what everything is, let's go into OBS Studio and start this bad boy up. So you'll remember that we already linked our stream key, which means as soon as we hit the start streaming button right here, it'll start streaming to YouTube. So we're gonna click the start streaming button. We're on YouTube right now. We're gonna give it a second. And now after we've started streaming, you can see our live window preview right here. In the top left, it shows how long you've been live for. Automatically pops to your analytics so you can see your viewers, your chat rate and views. But you can always go back under the stream settings on that tab. It also shows that we're in excellent condition, meaning that our streaming settings are right for this and we're not experiencing any buffering lag or frame drops. You can also indicate that by the stream health as well. And when you're done with your stream and you wanna end everything, you just hit the little end stream button in the top right corner and it'll say your stream will immediately stop and you will no longer be live. We'll click end and then it'll say stream is finished. It'll show your little thumbnail. We can actually click the edit in studio button. You'll be able to use YouTube's video editor to be able to trim and cut the beginning and end portion and middle portions if you wanna get crazy with it. So that way you don't have any dead air and just get straight to the action. If you wanna see your live stream, go to YouTube studio, go to content and then go to live. And then you'll see all of your different live streams that you've done here. You'll notice that this is unlisted, but if you wanna make it public, you just click this little drop down, click on public and then hit publish. And then it'll be live for people that miss the stream. If you wanna learn how to use OBS studio and use those cool overlays I showed you at the beginning of the video, watch this video to the side of me. It's gonna show you exactly how to do all that step-by-step. Step. Comment Spooky Gang if you made it to the end of the video. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.